Passive voice in questions and negatives. Forming passive voice negative statements. Hello everyone and welcome back to our English language learning series. In today's video, we will be focusing on an important aspect of intermediate grammar. The passive voice in questions and negatives. Specifically, we will explore how to form passive voice negative statements. Understanding this topic will help you communicate more effectively in English. So, let's dive right in. Before we delve into forming passive voice negative statements, let's quickly recap what the passive voice is. In English, we have two main voices, active and passive. In the active voice, the subject performs the action, while in the passive voice, the subject receives the action. For example, in the active voice, she wrote the letter, the subject, she, performs the action of writing. In the passive voice, the sentence becomes, the letter was written by her, where the subject, the letter, receives the action. Now that we have refreshed our understanding of the passive voice, let's move on to forming passive voice negative statements. Forming passive voice negative statements involves combining the passive voice with negation to express that something did not happen or was not done by someone. To form a passive voice negative statement, we start with the auxiliary verb, be, in the appropriate tense, followed by the word, not and the past participle of the main verb. Let's look at an example using the present simple tense. Active voice, they clean the house. Passive voice, the house is cleaned by them. Passive voice negative statement, the house is not cleaned by them. Notice how we added the word not after the auxiliary verb is to create the negative form. Similarly, we can apply this rule to other tenses. For instance, in the past simple tense, we would use the auxiliary verb was or were with not to form the negative statement. Here's an example. Active voice. John fixed the car. Passive voice. The car was fixed by John. Passive voice negative statement. The car was not fixed by John. Remember, the structure remains the same. Auxiliary verb plus not plus past participle. Let's look at a few more examples to solidify our understanding. Active voice. We will paint the walls. Passive voice. The walls will be painted by us. Passive voice negative statement. The walls will not be painted by us. Active voice, they have finished the project. Passive voice, the project has been finished by them. Passive voice negative statement, the project has not been finished by them. It's important to note that when forming negative statements in the passive voice, the placement of not is crucial. It should always come after the auxiliary verb and before the past participle. That wraps up our video on forming passive voice negative statements. We've covered the basics of the passive voice, the structure of passive voice negative statements, and provided examples to reinforce your understanding. Remember, practice is key to mastering this grammar concept. Keep practicing and applying what you've learned, and you'll become more comfortable with the passive voice in questions and negatives. Thanks for watching. And I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more English language learning content. See you in the next video.